I feel it's very important to make the fashion industry more sustainable. It's uh, the second polluting industry in the world. But the solar technology is developing and is becoming more thin and flexible. This really gives new opportunities for fashion. I'm a fashion designer working in the field of wearable technology, implementing new technologies to make our garments respond in a different way and therefore also communicate in a different way. Wearable technology is able to connect different industries that were not connected before. I'm being connected with people from the solar energy industry and we look at what we can mean for each other to uh, advance uh, our idea of what fashion is or could be in the future. While working with wearable technology, you realize what it takes to power all your wearable devices and that you're always carrying these heavy battery packs and then start making these kind of circuits and all the wiring that you need. It's always an issue. So looking at how the wearable technology market is rapidly growing, we need to come up with a more sustainable solution for that. We can't just rely on batteries forever. Wearable Solar is a project that I started about a year ago and it started off as a research in how we can implement solar cells into fashion so that your body could actually become a sustainable source of energy. Both designs that I made, the dress and the coat, uh, if you wear them for two hours outside in the sun, they charge your phone from zero to 100%. So basically what we did first is we calculated what the service area would be, so to really have some energy that you can actually do something with. And then we looked at how can they be placed efficiently on the body so that they would capture enough sunlight and would generate energy that, for instance, could power your smartphone. We're all addicted to our smartphones and we want them to be constantly powered. And our garments is something that we always have with us, together with our smartphone. So this was quite an obvious connection. You would never need a battery again. You could just be sustainable and generate your own energy through your clothing. My goal is to make the technology invisible and to really have it working from the inside out. So if we would have a solar cell on a yarn level that could be integrated within the textile of your garment, you could use this fabric that is a solar cell. If you look at solar energy in textile, textile is not something we only use in fashion. So you can think of other applications like sails of, of boats. There are so many surfaces out there in the world that we don't use in such an efficient way. Textile has a lot of properties that other materials don't have, like the flexibility, the bendability. So this could be something that could be further explored. Right now, there are a um, few downsides on the prototypes that I have. One of them is the washability. So I'm now looking at uh, solar cells that uh, are encapsulated within a, like a plastic layer so that they can become washable. As a designer in, in wearable tech, you often have to convince um, other industries of the importance of, of working with their technologies in, in fashion. You have to go and knock on the door of a solar energy uh, manufacturer and say like, hey, I want to implement your technology in fashion. Can you make your solar cells washable? I think by adding technology to fashion, we can return uh, fashion's value to people so that they would cherish their garments for a longer period and just not discard it like after a couple months because it's based on trend. Wearable tech definitely invites more people to, uh, to enter the fashion world and to uh, help us uh, create new innovations that make the system better because, I mean, fashion is all about the new, but the industry itself has been the same for, for decades. So it's really time that, that something's been changed. Mm -hmm.